That's right. Shalom Aleichem and welcome. Okay, so Baruch Hashem, you finished? Kufi Tchet, you finished? Hako Baka Mako? So we're going to learn Simen Kufi Tess. You have three more days, two, three days, whatever. So you'll get another uh, angle to to buying kosher food. Actually, I'm going to speak about something in further in Kufi Tess. I'm going to speak about Kufi Tess Siv Zayin, but Kufi Tess Siv Aleph is a very, very Yisraelistic Siv. Because the Rama, there's a Machlekes between the Machab and Rama. What? How do you know if you go to a store? Okay, today, we already answered a lot of the problems because most of the part, most of the items are packaged and it has a hechsher. But if you're buying raw stuff and open stuff, could you just walk into any Yiddish store? Until now, we had chesamish. There was a problem by a guy. The Rama said earlier, a Yisrael chasher is even worse than a guy. Yeah. But how about just general shopping? General shopping. A, a, Yid, a Yiddish store, could you just buy anything that you see in the store? Or a, a Yid has a cheskes kashras, or you have to uh, know more than just his cheskes kashras. So the opening Ramah is a, is a whopper, a big Chiddush. But I'm going to try to uh, start with something else. Amongst this crowd, I'm not showing the crowd, everybody's from Salta and Shamna Lubavitch. There might be some people who eat Hasidic Shechita and some people who only eat Lubavitch Shechita. You're not tapping him now? <laughs> <laughs> so the question is um, in Basar Bechalov, there's a halacha, a simen pei ches, it's a two sif simen, which is the Isser Ha'aloh. Isser Ha'aloh is um, when, two people, when two people are eating at the same table. I shouldn't be eating fleshig, he, and he's eating fle- milchik because since we, we're friends, and I see a nice piece of uh, taco and cheese, I, I just ate my chicken. And uh, you know, like, like I see them, we sip from the same cup, so hygiene is no issue, right? So uh, there's a Isra Ha law. They shouldn't be on the same table. Fleshik and milchik, so the Rabbana can't be on the same table. And the Chiddush is, it can't even be even chicken. What are you funny? It's a delayed reaction. <laughs> uh, it can't even be, the Chiddush is that it's even by chicken, which if a chicken, even if you would eat it together, it would be a Darabonon. That's what I said yesterday. Gabi, these halachas, we don't consider this exer to exer. Consider this one long exer. Uh, so the question is, if you are one of those frummies, that only eats Lubavitch or let's say, or, uh, huh? yeah. or let's say somebody only eats, let's, let's not make it Lubavitch. Uh, let, okay, today's like, uh, Today's controversy, are you going to eat? I had, I had a group of people who, uh, I had just a group of people. Oh, I met, they came, uh, actually, Bachram. They came for a Fabrang, they can make a barbecue. And they're only going to eat CHK. They don't want to eat Lubavitch. Others, are, uh, so so what happened? Okay, the question is, if you have a standard, call a kavod. Call a kavod. Never knock somebody's standard. But if, if the, your friend who's with you by Basar Bacholov, I have a I have a video that I I discussed, you know these videos. With, I discussed why is it by a chasna you could come to a chasna and the waiter comes to you and says, what would you like? Uh, what what's the choice? You have uh, chicken, you have meat, if you have, or you want salmon. There are some people who say, oh, give me one, give me one of each, you know. But uh, yeah, they say, what do you have? I have I know somebody who says. The waiter comes and says, what do you like, uh, chicken or meat? He says, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so um, how, if there's an Israel law, and remember the halacha says, a chamira sakanta meisura. So if by milchis and fleshix, you shouldn't be at the same table, how could you be eating a steak and the guy right next to you deciding he likes, he needs salmon, or he's a vegetarian, it's chamira sakanta meisura. So there's a discussion about that if the Israel law applies there too. Huh? Fish and flesh, you're not supposed to eat together. Hello, what, what planet? Fish and flesh is a sakana. Kuf tezayin, look at the, you read Hebrew? Look at Simen Kuf tezayin. Simen Kuf tezayin siv beiz. Kuf tezayin siv beiz. Sarek li zar shalei lechel basa v'dag v'yachad and ishakash le tzaraz. Look, I, I don't. I, I didn't make it up. Look inside, <laughs> and if you don't know it from your day, it's it's an Echayim Simen Kufayin Ches. Wonderful. So, uh, that, yeah. So, so, 
we have somebody that's very close to us that every time he comes to our house, I drive him crazy because he's very from. And after, you know, there are a lot of people after fish, they'll, they'll, they're not alcoholics. I know some alcoholics, they just alcoholics. I know, they're not alcoholics. You'll see the makbid. They're going to say l'chaim on a, it's, it's, the makbid can say l'chaim because there's an need to be mafsik, to clean out your mouth from the filter fish. Okay, you could, but he likes better mouth. He's an alcoholic. So, no, the, the, but he, he, he stands up, makes a, l'shem, this is this particular person, you know what I'm talking about, stands up, huh? makes a l'shem yuchad, runs to the kitchen, and washes his hands. And I show him that halacha, it says clearly you don't have to do it anymore. It says, because really the isra is only when, and you eat them together, they will cook together. That's the, that's the sakana. We're overdoing it. Okay, so, so I have my fun and games. Uh, anyways, let's go fight him. So... What happens if a person has a very nice standard? Very good. Kala kavod. But his friend doesn't have that standard. Right? So, uh, should you eat in the same table? What's the shaila? The shaila is not necessarily would you take something from him. He's a, he's a good friend of yours. Would he tell you, wow, take, give a taste of this pastrami. And it, not willingly, or maybe intentionally, he's going to give you a piece of pastrami that's not your standard of, of kashras. So let me tell you how it starts. A very interesting thing. Go back to Pasakum. You know which is Simon is Pasakum? Uh, You're my target today. <laughs> okay, Machali Yakum starts at Kuf Yud Beis and goes through Kuf Chaf Aleph. And, and, and here, in this section, only in the elite program do you learn this whole Simon. Uh, a whole section. You learn Pasakum, which is Kuf Yud Beis. Kuf Yud Gimel is Vishal Akum. Kuf Yud Dalit is Mashkin, uh, beer. Kuf Tezvav is Cholav Akum. Kuf Tezayin is Dvar Masur Mishum Sakana. And then Yud Zayin is uh, Isser Schayra. Yud Ches is what we learned yesterday. Yud. And then it goes Tvilas Kalim and Hagolas Kalim. Hagolas Kalim is really in Hilchas Pesach. So over here, Hagolas Kalim is a couple of Sifim. And Hilchas Pesach, Tafna Nalav, Tafna Beis, that's where it is. Of course, all the guys who go America to Lichus know that back in the back of the hand, Tafna Nalav. Yeah, they get crash courses. I would say they make crashes. Not. Okay. So in, in, there is a Hilchas Pasakum. Rabbi, Rabbi Yankel, yeah? Mendel. Mendel. You say his name, yeah. Right? All the elders there. Um, um, what's, the, what's the reason for Pasakum? Chasnas. What does that mean? That when a person, when you, when a guy gives you something special like a nice, a nice cake, cake is a shell if it's pas, uh, pas uh, a pas a a guy brings you a nice chash of a bread from chameshes mina dogon, ah uh, sourdough, sourdough. Oh, you're paying fifteen, eighteen dollars. It cre- cre- creates a relationship, and you never know where the relationship goes. Now the chiddush from pas akum abishal akum. It's considered one of the in, most interesting Yisuri de Rabbana because it's Yisuri de Rabbana she'en lo yikam in Everything is kosher. The ingredients are hundred percent. You even gave him the ingredients. You even gave him the. You went to. You got ungars and you got hadar. You gave him all the, the and no chadash, no yosha. Whatever you gave him, everything. And and the kalim was not a shaila because even istam klei yakom einim bnei yoyman. So what's the problem? The problem is he brought you a. A finished product, and he's, he's creating friendship with you. When he creates friendship, you know it's not sign of a vinaflino. We have to be we have to be better than them. We have to we have to realize that we don't mingle with these with these type of people. Why isn't there that issue if you work with them? Huh? If you work with a guy on yeah. a daily basis, he doesn't work with friends with them. Okay, the chacham didn't make make that kind of. You, what you, what should we do? You can't you can't say oh yidden should only work in Williamsburg. You can't do that. You can't, you, I mean, it's not, not, not practical. It's not a practical gzeda. At kach, even pasakum, it, the reason why we're makel more in pasakum than bishalakum, because it became unpractical. Everybody needs bread, and uh, we need, uh, 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 and it was a gzeda, uh, the tzibur couldn't, wasn't accepting milachat. So they backed off. That's why you'll see a lot of, a lot of people are makel in pasakum. Today's days, you don't find it so much because today this is available everywhere. But if you gave, went back 20, 30 years ago, a lot of people were eating pasakum. Okay? Now, now akum, it's a, and I'd say from my Murray Mudish, he brings that it's Matamtam Leiv and Moyach, 
right? But uh, even, I just want to tell you FYI, even pas akum, um, which when you learn the halach, pas palter, halachically is allowed because it's, it's a commercial bakery. You're sitting here, you have no connection to the guy who baked. You know nothing about him. He doesn't care about you. So the pas palter is allowed. Standard, modern, uh, from a yidin will eat pas palter. They'll go into Walmart, as long as the ingredients is a heksher, they'll, they'll eat pas palter. Why not? The Ramah allows it. And even the, and if you're living in a place where it's not easy, accessible, pas Yisrael, Shukhnor says they're allowed to. But we, we, al pi Kabbalah, will be machmer. We'll be machmer. But if you look in OU's website, OU, I don't know OU, OK, gives a chsidish hechsherim, give hechsherim on pas akum, because al pi Allah, it's allowed. So they have to, they have to serve the community, and they say you can't success them. But if you look in their websites, they'll tell you, uh, this is the pas akum. I mean, they, they don't usually have to write that. If, you, if, if, if OU or OK gives a hechsher on, on a food item, on a, a break, they're not going to write pas akum. They'll only write pas Yisrael when it is pas Yisrael, but they won't write pas akum. But all those items are, that are pas akum, if you look on the website, they'll tell you, don't eat an aser shemei tshuva. No, because in the Shulchan Aruch it says, you, and, and, and the Alter Rebbe, he, the Magen Avram, brings in Hilcha Shabbos, even those who are, who are mekel and Pasakim all throughout the year, throughout the week, throughout the year, and Shabbos Chalo, you don't do Pasakim, if you, if you could. So there are some, t- they don't quote that, they only, in the websites, they only speak about a Sarah Shemei Tshuva, because that's universally accepted. Okay, so, so this Shiloh that I'm discussing with two people sitting on the same table, uh, I, I started it with Lubavitcher Shkita, not Lubavitcher Shkita. But let's talk about uh, uh, f- uh, f- uh, from a Yid, a Chesidish Yid who is Machmed in Pasach, Pasachim. I should, I should call it Pas Palter. He won't even eat Pas Palter. And a modern Orthodox guy who's a Shemr Torah Mitzvah, follows Shulchan Aruch perfectly. And he is, he is he, he does eat Pas, pas Palter. Is there an Indian not to eat together on the same table? So a very interesting thing. This shows you, by the way, your outlook and uh, how you have to care about another person's feelings. You know, we always bring the raya. The Torah says, you know, Why? Because when a person spreads his legs, the, the, the bottom will see the erva. And? We, 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 we don't want to hurt a stone's feelings. If you don't want to hear a, hurt a stone's feelings, how much... More, I have to care about hurting another person's feelings, right? But here, listen to this: Simon Kuf Yud Beis, Siv Yud Gimel, Simon Kuf Yud Beis, which is Pasakum, Siv Kuf Siv Yud Gimel. Mi she'enoi nizer mi pashalevi gechavim, one who is not careful, and he's not makpid to have dafke pas Yisrael. Kuf Yud Beis Yud Gimel. Okay, and now for Shabbos. He ended up in somebody's house. I know a colleague of mine who ended up taka in Muncie once for Shabbos. And half of the shit is more stories than the thing. And he came, he, he, he was in a, a, ortho, a modern Orthodox show, and the minute gives the Zaydav sign, really, that after, Friday night, I know the Rosh one time has tried to insist that everybody should walk over and say good Shabbos. Uh, I think he wanted to do it in Rosh Hashanah, no? Um, yeah, no, but and any any normal shul, any normal shul, that's what they do. People go say good Shabbos to the rub. So he went, he couldn't be the, this person, even though he's a and he he couldn't be the only one just ignoring it. So he went on the line also say good Shabbos. He's a man with a long white beard. He goes over to the rub and they're good Shabbos. Uh, oh, what brings you in town? He says, Hashgacha, the Hashgacha. He met and the rub says, What, what Hashgacha do you work for? You know. He thought he came for Kashrut. So he meant Hashkacha Pratis. And he says, what Hashkacha do you work for? So anyway, so a guy ends up in somebody's house. And the person who he's, e- he's eating by doesn't have the same standard as himself. So me she'eni nizim mipashal evichavim. She'hesev alt eitzel balabayis ha'nizim mipashal evichavim. Now, th- 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 this case is vice versa. The, the balabayis... Is a frimak. The Balabais is a chosi, a nizr bekreitzer shoyud, tap shchita. But he's a. But he, he, but he, uh, 
He invited a Chabad house guest. This is a very, by the way, this is a Mishra, I love that. He invited a Chabad house guest, and this Chabad house guest keeps Shalach, but he's not miserable, Pash, Pash Yisrael. So let me tell you this introduction. When there are different breads on the table, I have a fight uh, many years with my Shver about a certain halacha. In Minnesota, in Minnesota, there's a bread called focaccia bread. And it's a tasty bread. It looks like a pizza. It looks like a round pizza, right? It's expensive, nice, good bread. But today, maybe you would call it like the sourdough, right? And uh, we, everybody likes it. Once a week, twice a week, the focaccia bread comes up. Everybody likes to get the bread. And it happens that they made it on Friday. So I would buy it for Shabbos. Of a Shabbos after Machala Echad. So we always had a Chala for Lech Mish, Chala for Kacha. I hold that you have to make the Bracha on the Fakacha because the Fakacha is Chaviv. He says, You have to eat Shabbos, you have to eat Chala. The dinner is you have two breads, you have to make the Bracha on the Chaviv. We have two breads, how do you choose? You take it, as many as things you choose by the bigger one, the better one, right? The more tastier one. Whichever has more more shivas, that's when you make the bracha. So what happens if you have different types of bread, whole wheat and this one? So you always make the bracha on the more chashiv one. What happens if one is pas yisrael and one is pas not pas? Obviously, if I'm the only one there, I'll make the bracha on pas yisrael. What happens if the pas yisrael is pumpernickel and the pas akum is uh, what uh, sourdough? Uh, that, it could be that uh, I think the Shulchan says Yevarech Al Eizem Em I think I, I'm not mistaken. That's what it is. The question is over here. Uh, I am a Chabad Shliach that I grew up in the Smet and the, I have high standards. But a Chabad house he came in with his, and now on the table there are two loaves of bread. There is his bread that he came with, which is not Pas Yisrael. And my my bread, which is pas Yisrael, look at look at the halacha again. Misha ain't a nizer pasha over chavim. Shehesev etzo balabayis a nizer mi pasha over chavim. Va'al shulchan pas Yisrael, over pasha over chavim hayafa Michel Yisrael. I have a pumpernickel bread, and he brought a sourdough, but mine is pas Yisrael. His is not pas Yisrael. You would have shot him, right? Sure, Put, send him to the dog. Says the Shulchan Aruch, Yivtza balabayis min hayafa. Break your standard, break your standard, and make the bracha on that person's bread. Umuta. I'm surprised you guys didn't fall for this. This is, a, this is crazy, right? You have a standard. I don't need pasakum. And it's a chash of a standard. As long as that person is there, you could eat his pasakum. What's the reason? You think he's it, a long, scary taz here? The reason is Mishum Eva. He's going to feel, Mele, if it's the same type of bread, he's going to say, why should I? He, uh, He'll answer, why should he take mine? He'll eat his. But he brought a nice sourdough. Everybody knows that sourdough tastes better. What's wrong that the rabbi doesn't want to take my bread? That means he doesn't trust me. I'm second class citizen. Therefore, you break your standard. It doesn't, doesn't go well, right? You break your standard and Mishum Eva eat his bread. Is by it? Only by it. You're talking about Eva by going to stop uh, uh, an amastity. Now we're talking about just not making sure that he doesn't feel bad. Okay. Okay, I'm, not, I, I'm just reading this halacha to get to our halacha. That's what Allah says. I know. I, 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 I don't. I my father Oliver Shalom. He was a mashgiach for the last couple of years of his life in a very big place of meat, and the the and the owner of the store was an alta yidl who knew every crooked. Uh, and my father's straight as an arrow. So my father said, "Dust harmonistan." So every time my father says, "Dust zavavos," my father said, "Was I straight to shulchan aruch?" My father had the privilege of straight as. And he would say, Vuzuk the Barashi. Vuzuk the Barashi. He knew that the Shulchan Aruch, what is, you sound like, you, you sound like you have Vuzuk the Barashi. So now look to Simen Kuf Yotes Ziv Zayin. He's in think that that's what I eat. Huh? Now he's going to think that I eat that. I don't, that's not, is that, is that, you're saying it's, 
If he's going to watch me eating his bread, he's going to say the, ra the rabbi is also eating his sourdough. He obviously doesn't think it's wrong because he's eating it. I'm talking about a from a yin. What's wrong if he would... You're saying it's modest ayin that he's going to say, I'm not that... No, no, so the truth is the is this bread is fine because... Halachically it is fine. It's my standard. It's a standard that I had. All right. So go to Simon Kuf, your test. Oh, uh, 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 uh. So is it only by bread or everywhere? Simon Kuf, your test, Siv Zayin. Uh, so you jump straight to the Ramah. Straight, straight to the Ramah. Simon Kuf, your test, Siv Zayin. Straight to the Ramah. In the Ramah, go to two lines into the Ramah. Anybody who has a minig, his own personal minig, that for him this item is usr. Now why? Why? So it's either either he thought that that's the halacha, that's his our family we only eat this heksha. Very good. I don't think if you ask them, they'll say the other ones are treif. Maybe you guys will say the other ones. <laughs> I don't think you're saying the other ones are treif. It's a chumra. So if a person either has his, has his mini because he thought that's the halacha that way, or it's his own personal chumra, mutar lechel imacherim shemnoyigim bayheter. You're allowed to sit on the same table with other people who are eating, and maybe even your friends, who don't have your standard. Ah, maybe your friend's gonna tell you, Ui, give a taste of my corned beef. Ah, I saw corned beef, you will never try him. No. Because your friend would never ever offer you, would he ever offer you a hot dog? He would, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he would never ever offer you a a uh, uh, something that he knows. In other words, the whole shash is it actually. I saw in Swarim actually. What, what's about the other way here? Um, it works the other way also. Over here, we're worried. Maybe for the person who, for him, it's a heter. He's not going to stoop in a iser to you. For even though for him it's usher, obviously we're talking about where he knows that your standard is higher. What's alahachasnik? He's dafka going to try to give you something that you don't want to eat. Yeah. How about the other way around? How about if you have a higher standard? You know, inshallah, Khmanis, there's a very big question about this. Please, can, inshallah, somebody's coming? Oh, Chaim Shalom. So now we do have a minion. Inshallah, Khmanis, there is a minion, there is a machlaikis. If I, you know, we, we, we make mass, mass, mass Mishlai Khmanis, yeah? If we do that, could I send out to Shalom Khmanis to the masses things that I don't eat? Let's say, could you even send out non throw uh, items. Because the people, the Chabados people are eating. How have I to eat that kosher? So well, that's the other way around. Here the Shaila is, here the Shaila is, and that's, that's actually the same Shaila like by us. He doesn't have your standard, and he's, Aftzalach is pushing you a hot dog against your standard. In the Shalach Manis, it's the other way around. I have a standard. But I know I'm sending it to you, and you don't have the standard. Is it wrong for me to do that? So there, in the Gabi, this halacha, the Achrayim say, it's not an iser. I'm not sending you a chas a, a slice of pork. I'm sending you something which my standard is higher. Doesn't make me. Do, doesn't make it as if I'm sending you a dvar iser. So I could send it to you, okay? But let's start. Let's start with what the Ramah just said that. Two people on the same table. One is one has a higher standard kashras, higher standard shchita. You don't have to be worried that your friend is going to introduce introduce you or send you something that's not your standard. It makes it makes because vaday. It's a sure thing that he won't give you something that he knows you don't eat. It's a very interesting. I never I never paid attention till I learned the shach. If you have a standard that you don't eat certain shchita. So I'm going to tell you, Evyankel, 
you know what, come to me for Shabbos. I, for your week, I'm going to bring only your shechita. How does that help? All my kalim all have the time what I, what I eat all around. What, when you have a certain standard in shechita, why is it, is it only to the shechita actual uh, what you're eating? How about the time? You're going to eat on everybody's grill. You're going to eat in everybody's kalim. Ah, your standard in the meat is, is higher. Does it apply there too? So the shach talks about it. So look at shach chaf. The vadai, the vadai, is it past one or two? Oh, right. So maybe I should call back that. The vadai loyach ilu dover shenoyeg be iser. He definitely won't push you to eat. Uh, by the way, before you go, I don't know how far I'll get to the shach. The pischa tshuva brings a beautiful, nice shayla here. Look at pischa tshuva aleph. I am b'tshuva chaim shal chelik beis sekasav b'shem sefer derech hamelach. Shemi shabiyodei chomet shavar lo v'pesach. Somebody that has he has in possession a, 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 a box of cookies that he forgot to sell it and, and it, it was over all over Pesach. So for him, he's not allowed to eat it. He's not allowed to eat it. It's a knas. Somebody else, a friend came in and a friend wants to eat the box of cookies. They don't know that it's Chavet Shavu Lava Pesach. Yeah? So do I have to stop them? For them, they don't deserve a knas. I deserve the knas for having the chametz all of our Pesach. Ain't tzarech lahagid lehem. You don't have to tell them, ui, it's chametz all of our Pesach, shele yoichlu, because there's no reason. It's, it's a personal hang-up. It's a personal issue. It's not something I have to stop you. The chacham echet chaylek hazeh, v'hiskim imoi bala mechabra shechi of leidim. However, others say, I don't know if this will be a little different than here, but it's just an interesting phenomenon. So go back to the shach. Let's see first how far this, this is. A very important shach, halfway till halfway through. Says the shach, Sham before shatam. Even if your name is Matul, whatever his name is, Vadai Aleph Neivah Lo Sitin Michsho Lo Avri. He definitely won't be over Aleph Neivah Lo Sitin Michsho, and therefore we won't think he'll push it to you. That's as long as you know that he doesn't eat the, the other food. But if he, if, if, that's why he would, you wouldn't offer it to him. <clears throat> but if you don't know that, then it's a, it, it's a problem. Frakt, it's a stira. This Ramah is a stira. The halachin in pasakum. In pas, but ain't la hakshois. Hakasa varava go simen kuf yubay sif tezvav. The Ramah said earlier. The mish and this and be pashal every chavim vayichol macherim shein in zarim muter lechel imayim mishum eva. Yeah, vachinami yoychal imayim. So we hear he should also be able to eat with them. I understand. Uh, over here we allow it, Misha. Uh, Mut- he's, huh? he's allowing it. He's saying that you because he won't feed it to you. In other words, you can't eat it. He can't eat it. Ah, you said so. The chayra, you should be able to eat it because two friends are sitting here. Yeah, get off your high horse and eat whatever hot dog he wants, right? And for the shach, the shiny hasam, the pass shuhi kerasuda he tiroloi mishameva only by bread, by bread that cre. What's going to be if he, he's going to offer you a hot dog and you'll say, I'm not in the mood of a hot dog. But if, if he tells you, here's, wow, a sourdough, and now you're going to eat pumpernickel, mashallah of a said then. Mashallah of a said then. What are these places better than that place? Okay. It's a uh, pass. Iker asuda, he tiruloi mishim eva. On top of that, kivun delay chomeri surei. Pass out and is not even a big issue. It's a. Uh, it's a uh, it's a, it's the rabbanon she'en la yikem in a Torah. All right, that's the answer. Listen to this. Over tshuvas marin lev chaviv simen kuf chav aleph herich ma'od bedinim elu v'reisi levarer bekitzur toichen avdvarim v'chiluki adinim ayotzim mitshuvasay v'hu mishen lo yegisur be'ezer davar machmas shesoyvesh. First, he's going to make a difference. Why are you? Why you have a different standard? It makes a difference if your standard is because 
you think the halacha is that way? Or your, your standard is because you have a chumrah. That's one difference. And then you don't eat the other you don't eat the other shchita because you think the other shchita is, is it doesn't do something right, but yet you're eating in somebody else's house who is does eat it. Oz ima iser nicker la iser. If it's if the food that that you consider iser is noticeable, mut mut. You want to you you in a rush? Because I have to. You want to call the other two guys to come? Okay. Mutar la ha amachil la achilai. The Eli Svinalei, the Eli Svinalei lay lechel. Avo kisha eni nikir aser, a iser aser. All right. Va aser levashaloi bekelav, afilo eni bnei yoyman. Again, if your standard is because it's an iser, I'm sorry. You look at it as if pork, then the the kelim is pork. The kelim is aser. You aser le levashaloi bekelav. Afilo eni bnei yoyman. Why afilo eni bnei yoyman? Because lechatchila you can't take fleshing in a milchik pot even if it ain't a bnei yaman. The ain't sort of chleimar sheaser la oiser leimer la matan levasha leibakeil shein a bnei yam. That's the case when you're looking at the other shchita as if it's iser. Avo kisha matter mevasha lechatchila lo yul tzayr chachelim gam kain muter because that's a case of the yaman. But that's a case where your your standard is based on a halacha. However, oiser dach davar machmas minig avoisav or bnei midinase shenayigim kain. Then the halacha is different. In one way, it's easier. In one way, it's harder. Harder. Aser lahamatir lahachiloi afilo a iser nicker. Alpha gav shoya oiser atzmoi yochel lekachtei k'moy heiteda shomoshit kaisayin lenazir. The Kaimel and the Afghan of the Anazi Yochel Kachte asked him with the Rabbanon to be Moshe to him. However, Yochel or Eser Levashel Lechatchila Bekeilo Shal. This is where it's more cal, more cal. If your standard is only a minig, a minig of Eisav, that doesn't apply onto the Kalim. It's more. Uh, 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 mut, Yochel or Eser Levashel Lechatchila Bekeilo Shal Amata Sheinu Bnei Yemen. Oi, Bestam Kalim. Why Stam Kalim? Because Stam Kalim, we pass in us with assumption is she ain't a minayemim. They're like kiblu aleim haminig lahachmer kol kach. Even if you made a standard milachatchila, your standard was I'm only going to eat this. But you never thought I'm not going to eat in a keli. You can't compare this to cholavakim kalim over there. That Amos says uh, whatever sh- your standard was for the the, the, the mamashes of the food. The imba, however, imba la keli who from the inu tzarich l'shalei. So I don't know how he dodged this bullet. Um, it says it's, the mashach clearly says if the bala keli is here, you ask him what was the last time. Even though it's only a keli from the non lebavich, if you, if you could ask uh, when was the last time you're using it, so you should know it's not a ben yoimoy. According to the shach, you have to ask. I can't. I can't imagine this happening. The uh, im can't grill together. According to that line, why? What's haste together? Uh, uh, grilling, I okay. can't. Anyways, there's no transfer of taste from one side of the grill and the other side of the grill. Uh, are, I mean, so, uh, uh, so uh, very good point. So the answer would be, this is based on the halach and taruvis. If you want to grill together, you could grill one on one rack and one on one side of, because what's missing by tzli over bishul, bishul has water, roitev. Roitev uh, mixes everything to get around. That's why if you want to make a soup, you don't have to put spices in everywhere and in every part of the soup. You splash it in the bit, middle, and it, it, it goes everywhere. What, what what's by a grill? You can make this this steak honey honey crisp, uh, and this one garlic and whatever. Why? Because in, by tzli there's a disconnect. So at least for this, you could and the same grill you could grill a a, a, a glot steak and a chasidish steak for that reason. But I thought this was a very important halacha.